Photomatix lets you create stunning images from multiple photos taken at varying exposures. In this video, I'm going to show you how to process these photos in Photomatix Pro. The first photo is taken at the normal exposure and shows the details in the midtone. This is not sufficient to show well the details in both the sky and the shadows. The second photo is underexposed and shows the details in the sky very well. The third photo is overexposed and shows the details in the shadows. To load the photos, select the files and drag them to the Photomatix program. You will then get a dialog asking you what you would like to do with the files. Select Generate an HDR image and click on OK. The next dialog lists the files selected. Click on OK to go to the next step. The next window lets you specify options for creating the HDR image. The three photos of the Grand Canal were taken using a tripod, but we still check the Align Source Images option to correct for small alignment problems that may happen even with a tripod. Click on OK. Photomatix will now merge your differently exposed photographs into a single HDR image that represents the complete tonal range captured by the photos. The generated HDR image looks disappointing. This is because it can't be represented properly on screen without further processing. An unprocessed HDR image is, in a way, similar to a film negative or the raw file of a digital camera. It needs further processing for display or printing. This processing is called tone mapping. Tone mapping reveals the details in highlights and shadows contained in the original HDR image. To tone map your HDR image, click on the tone mapping button on the HDR viewer window. The tone mapping settings palette on the left lets you adjust settings and select the tone mapping method. The first tab is for the details enhancer method. The second tab is for the tone compressor method. The buttons in the bottom frame let you undo or redo settings, restore the default settings, and load and save presets. The Tone Mapping Preview shows a preview of the final tone mapped image. You can adjust the preview size using the radio buttons on top. Use the controls on the Tone Mapping Settings palette to adjust the tone mapped image to your liking. There are no general rules for the settings. This really depends on your personal taste and the effect you want to achieve. Try both tone mapping methods with your image. The Details Enhancer method increases local contrast. This has the effect of boosting shadows and creating a painterly effect. The Tone Compressor method produces a more photographic look and avoids noise and halo artifacts. Once you're satisfied with the tone mapping method and settings, click on the Process button. The final tone mapped image is in 16 bits per channel mode. When you save the image, you can choose to save it as an 8-bit JPEG, if desired. You can see several examples of tone-mapped images in the user gallery. Exposure blending is another way to process your bracketed photos. It is simpler than HDR tone mapping and produces more natural-looking results. Additionally, blending exposures has the advantage of reducing noise. To use Exposure Blending, drag and drop your images to the Photomatix program icon, but this time select Blend Exposures. On the Selecting Source Images window, check the Align Source Images if your photos are handheld and click on OK. Photomatix will combine your photos and show you a preview of the final combined image. A preview of the blended image shows up on the right. Clicking on the preview brings up a loop that shows a crop of the final image at 100% resolution. The controls on the left let you change the blending method and adjust the settings when applicable. Once you're satisfied with the blending method and settings, click on the Process button. We encourage you to download Photomatix Pro and see what it can do for your photos. The trial is free and does not expire, but adds a Photomatix watermark to the final image. To try Photomatix Pro, go to the download page.